Good morning. Um, I wanted to nip on today. It's Monday. Um, I'm not doing any crafting today, she says. Um, Monday is normally a day that I get my orders done. But I was so excited that I did want to share what, what I'd done from the last video to this video, just to keep you, anyone who's interested, like keep keep you up to date. If you're not interested, then you know I won't feel offended if you you don't watch. Uh, but I know there's a few people who are really interested in seeing seeing what I'm doing and and where I've got to. So um, let me think back because it it was not yesterday, the day before. I would chosen the front and back. I'd stuck them on and I'd inked round. Um, yes, yesterday I showed you the template that I'd made for this window envelope so that I got a decent image through through the window um, and I showed you how I would place the template onto the book pages and I showed you my folder of how I'd sorted the Edith Holden out into different sections so when I'm work, because this won't be the only Edith Olden thing that that I do, um, and I do regularly do Edith Olden stuff. So I thought it's it's good to keep it in in some kind of order. Because I know I've spent many an hour, you know, just keep flicking through the book for the right picture. So I did think that that would work for me. Um, I also showed you that once I'd joined the envelopes, I'd obviously got this bit bare so all I've done I do need to stick that down I thought I'd done that um I've just just measured and just did a little bit smaller and then placed this piece of card in what I did is I placed the card in and then I actually uh drew a line you can probably just see it there so I knew that that part didn't need the glue on so I just glued that part uh, part and then I just slipped the card in and pressed it down but then you obviously have to um I was gonna say sellotape uh glue down that bit to um oh gosh to secure it uh so that your tag doesn't come out but saying that this is gonna be covered in a paper anyway so it would end up getting stuck down but normally like that one I have stuck that one down so I've done that um I've made this little hinge let me just move these out of the way because I just keep toppling toppling over um yeah I made this little hinge I think I did it one and a half inches and just scored it halfway down give it a really good burnish so I'm going to stick that into the middle just a few millimeters away from from the center um, and then when it opens it it will open like that and obviously this will be be covered covered over so that will go like that and like that so yes uh, I chose the pages that I was going to use so I used that beautiful dog rose one and then I sewed all around them. Um, that's the first time I've used the sewing machine since I did the botanical folder. And I did say that the stitching on that was terrible and I did think that I've got tension problems and stuff. But then I, ch I j changed the cotton because uh, I'd got a black in because I've just finished you know like all the bee stuff and I did that with black thread and I wanted the natural uh, thread in uh, so it just you know blends blends into the background um, and I changed the thread and obviously changed the the bobbin and everything was fine so I do think sometimes and I have heard that that before you do start messing about with your tension just totally take all your cotton out and stuff and and start again um and anyway that's them to them to do the job um but sometimes i don't know if it's the sewing machine or yourself uh not you but you know people in general um some days it just doesn't seem to want to work for you 
Anyway, so these are all obviously going to have tabs on and that. Um, I just put them in to make sure that they they all fit in. This one is from the birthday book because you'll notice the lines at the back. Um, I did the smaller ones in just a normal stitch and then the bigger ones in in the zigzag stitch. Um, and then we've got one then what comes from the top. So that's that one. Um, I did end up making templates for these as well um, with the acetate. Um, and that is definitely now something that I am going to do. It's something I saw before I even started junk journaling myself when I was just watching. And it was something that I saw Izzy B uh, do. And I, I remember thinking, wow, that's amazing because the the pictures that she always used was absolutely like perfect um it looked like the person had made the picture for a project type thing because this this sat so nice um and then i was obviously learning everything else and stuff and it just seemed a bit of a hassle but now i've done it i think why didn't i do that before um because i've ended up with you know some pictures that they're just not of, of the best they could have been used <clears throat> a lot better um, and all I've done is I've just got a bulldog clip and I've just got them on my notice board at the side of me the ones that are really pacific I've obviously wrote on that one's you know I can tell what that is and then I've got these two different side ones obviously we use lots of different shapes and stuff but um even if I wanted something just a little bit bigger, that kind of size, it it would give me a rough idea. But I have got about 20 sheets of it, so <clears throat> I, I'm going to use it in, in that way. But I had bought the um, the stuff to do some slides and things. Um, it is a really thin, um, I forgot what it's called and I've only just said it. Um, it's a really thin one. I don't know if it's 100 GSM or not um who knew that that kind of stuff was was like in the paperweights type thing anyway so i did that um i cut the pictures out i then stuck them down and backed them with this manila card um i love this milky color i've not inked anything as yet and i will be using the antique photo ink on the Edith Holden um because I don't want it to be as dark uh, and I want it to have a more this just really fit very nicely in there <laughs> um yeah I just want it to have that why isn't it going in must have grown since I took it out but yes it, it does fit just right so Yesterday I'd said that, um, yeah, originally we was having the booklet in the middle and sewing it in. I um, can't remember why I didn't go for that, but I did then think, oh no, this pocket is big enough for it to go at the side, so I'll do this in the middle. Um, so what I did with this, this is just one of the front pages from the Edith Olden, and like I said, I left that lip bit on to attach it to a piece of card it's not thick card it's 200 gsm it's not going to be a um robust type of of um you know like mini journal or notebook um it, it's just a notebook so <clears throat> i stuck the the back on i have gave it a really small spine um i don't know a couple of mils so just so it sits nicely do need to add more pages to this um so when i'd done all that and i'd sewed it round i then went to put it in here um and i looked inside you know where the seam's going to be and when you close it it <coughs> excuse me let me just can of drink a tea When it closes, it naturally comes out. Um, and I thought, oh, well, that's a bit unsightly. 
Um, and then my next thought was, well, perhaps I could <coughs> put um, a strip of lace down here, some quite frothy lace, lace, <laughs> lace just to hide uh, that. But then I thought you're going to have problems pulling it out because I'm not going to be able to have a thumbnail. Um, so I just left it. I just thought, mm, I don't know, kind of thing. Anyway, that's the big card that, that I'd done. And that's was going to go at the front and then have a thumb out to, to pull it out. So, last night, um, for some strange reason, it just popped into my head and I wasn't even thinking about it. So, the new idea is, if you remember at the beginning when I decided I was having something in the middle, I was going to go with this. This is beautiful. It's... Um, it's an ivory uh, paper and it's it's hammered um, and it feels, I can't even say, it feels so luxurious. Um, yeah, I love it. And it inks fantastic. So I was going to have that <laughs> in the middle, but it just seemed too high. Um, I don't know, I just didn't feel like it sat well. So then I thought, oh, I wonder if, let's see if you can see, if I attach it in there and I wonder if the journal would sit better in there. So I just cut the end off with my trimmer and yeah, I put it in there and as you can imagine, um, when you shut it, it obviously then pops out because it's not quite big enough to, to fit flush and it's shut. So I just sat with it like that on my desk for a while and I thought, I actually quite like that sticking, sticking out. It, it gives it that kind of layered effect. So... Uh -huh. My idea is, oh, and I did so, sorry, I keep jumping from one thing to the next. I did so, so around the front and the back, and I think that's finished it off really nice. Um, I obviously opened the folder out to get, get to it. So, back to this. <laughs> um, so, I thought, right, I can stick the flap down, um, just leave it over, um, I would probably say that's three quarters of an inch type thing. And then I thought, well, I'll probably stick some washi tape or I'll get some scrapbook paper and just put, you know, a strip down. And then I thought, it's going to be quite flimsy, even if, you know, once I've covered this with something and I've put something down there. So... I'm going to do something similar, well not similar, I'm going to get a strip of paper like that and just put it, let me show you, down here and then I rooted through my materials, I do need to iron this and I thought wow, what what a match that is um, and then stick this onto the strip that I've put down because I thought if I stick this onto here then what it's got nothing to kind of hang on to so I thought um, I'll stick it onto a piece of card and then let's put that back in yeah right. I'm just going to outside <laughs> um, and then you will see this beautiful um, colour down down the edge um, and I think that's going to look wonderful I just hope it turns out how how I think before I stick it down I'm going to put a grommet in in there and then this seam binding which I think again is is a lovely match um, and that's going to be the tie around thing. So now the big tag will be going at the back. And I shall definitely do that as a pull, pull up. And then this contraption will 
to be stuck down in the middle like we said. Yeah. But it will now lay over over the top. Oh, I've done it the wrong way around. That's it. Um, it will now lay over the top of that, and I'm thinking the weight from this will then hold hold the envelope down. So you will open it to be able to open that to get your book out. So I'm absolutely so excited with with how it's it's developed so far um i just hope i don't get a total brain you know malfunction and can't think any further with it but um yeah i'm excited i think it's going to be really good um and then i'd bought these a while ago because i'd seen wendy from uh, my journal adventures and um she's been using these a lot so i didn't i might um put one of these somewhere and have a little tab on that it flicks up or just stick it down and put um, one of my pressed flowers that I showed you last week. So that's as, as far as I've got with it. Um, and I thought I was lucky that all that matched up and then with, because this one's more, you know, purples, um, I'd got this lovely, and these are from my friend Roxanne, um, she sent me from America, um, she'd gone to some yard sale, and it was in probably, I don't know if it was like my first haul video, um, well happy mail video, and she sent me loads of reels of different stuff, and this is actually the edging for baby blankets, that's silky edging. So I thought, how fab does that look? And then I've got some seam binding, which, uh, not seam binding, sorry silk, which is, is a great match. So I, I'm really surprised at how that's come together. So I feel like, I mean, I'm not doing anything today, like I said, because um, I need to do my orders but I might break from that for a little bit and move on to something else because I feel like I've run out of brain power with that. Um, I shall put that piece in that I said and get the material folded down, get the eyelet in. And I think then I might leave it for a bit and go on to something else and come back to it. We'll see. Uh, but at the minute I'm feeling like I can't think of anything else I kind of want to do with it. Um, yesterday I got all, all these sewed up. So these are decoupaged onto old dictionary pages and I've just sewn them down. They feel amazing inside. It's got that nice puffy type feeling. Um, it's as if they're a bit quilted. So I need to put an eyelet in all those and get some matching ribbons and and sorry silk. They took longer than you would think um, to to say. So um, I shall if I get any chance to craft tonight. That is probably what what I'll end up doing. Um, so that's them. And look what's come. My seam binding. Uh, so I obviously won't put this in my July haul because. I can't, um, I can't wait till the end of July. So I've ordered the, aren't they? The such beautiful colours. Let's see if they're showing true. Yeah, they are showing true in the camera. Um. So yeah, I had these two blues and this dusky pink and then green, a natural colour and then a brown. Um. Beautiful. Um, so this was from a, an eBay seller in the UK. Like I say, I normally do use Splatter Inc. Uh, but uh, she's been shocked why the COVID uh, has been around. So um, I've been using this uh, eBay seller. And they're, they're beautiful. I will still go back to Splatter Inc. Because I don't know, she just has some really unusual uh, i mean this is from splatter ink and it's very multi-toned and and stuff I, I just feel like 
they're just a bit more special but this lady has still got some fabulous colors so if you can remember i was waiting for that for the bird uh folder so this is the final da, 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 da. <laughs> and then we can tick this one off the list um so i ordered two blues so that was the original one that i chose to go with that backing paper or i could go bright what do we think I'm just having a cup of tea, a drink of tea while I think about it. Uh, See, so yeah, as much as I do really like that, um, and it does give it a bit of pizzazz, but I, yeah, I love that one. Um, I just think that it's just gives it a really soft, soft feel going to keep these because um make those into little little tabs so i put put them over there so let's think how much we're going to want so if it's there um i'll take one way that way one way that way and i go round back to there to tie off there it is very stretchy uh this this seam binding and then that will go to there and go to there so i think that'll that'll be about it so i'll just cut it cut it off um i'm gonna double it over but i'm gonna have one just a bit longer because it's got just a bit further to go so let's poke it in. I'm going to just use my scissors. Oops. Scissors just to poke it in. And just make a loop and pull it, pull it through. That's it. So as long piece, I'm going to go round to there. I think I've not done it long enough. Um, yeah, so that one's only going to go around once. I might change that. Yeah, I think I'll change that so I do it double. So for now, um, I'm going to leave it at that. I just wanted to jump on really and because I thought me showing you all this would would take far too long and then to start start crafting after um it, it'd be an awful long video so i must get these orders done and stop putting putting it off um because i really want to just sit here and make make things <laughs> right i shall be back on wednesday and i'll give you a quick update of of what i've done and then we'll get get into whatever i'm making at that point so keep well keep busy keep crafting see you soon bye